to run to the store for a couple of things and had a fascinating night. I highly suggest everybody looks into those Oshiana Dean Voyager series books and PDFs since you really can't, you know, get them in book form right now. It's in such high demand. All this love one shit is uh, pretty interesting. Looks like when people talk about heaven and hell, they're talking about going back to somewhere called Tara or hopefully not going into Phantom Earth. I don't know. I have a lot of really smart degree holders and shit in my family and if I'm crazy, okay. But, um, yeah, it'd be really cool for people to look into this stuff. Apparently there's 15 different densities and you know, it's pretty interesting shit. And I know a lot of people don't really like to think that their brains are programmed or anything, and a lot of people just don't know it, and if they're not, they're not, but um, it's funny what happens when you start asking yourself questions like this, and you start looking down spirituality rabbit holes until you stop going down rabbit holes you should only have to look at probably two or three things if you have a question look it up on YouTube find a video kick the idea around a little bit and just look down at the comments section that's how I quit falling down rabbit holes I started looking at the comment sections and I started looking at all of this shit that normal people have to say and normal people's experiences with spiritual activity and this and that and I'm going well shit okay if this youtuber has three million followers and this one video right here has thousands of comments people must be onto something and it's funny what happens when you start going into your head and understanding that heaven and hell and literally everything is just kind of all in your mind and if you would like to escape your mind <laughs> you better freaking look out our brains don't want us to understand the truth because people have been messing with our DNA forever <laughs> like uh, back in Atlantis days and it's a labyrinth in there. Your minds are huge. It's friggin' scary shit. And if you start getting bombed on the right, especially if you start overloading your senses and you start overloading your mind and you start getting attacked on the right hand side, yeah, it's all smoke and mirrors, this whole world. You gotta get real good at using mirrors. Harry Potter, when they're like looking at the basilisk and they're like, you know, trying to try not to look things in the eye. You're the whole time in your brain, you're just trying not to look at yourself. Yeah. You have to use mirrors and look around corners. <laughs> Because there's shit in your mind that's going to attack you. And there's a lot of people who have gotten out of their heads. Who are in different ways trying to help. And uh, my path was down the uh, mental unhealth road. But now, I mean sure, I'm super bummed out a lot of the time. Not a big deal now because I got out of my head all of my I just observe my thoughts it all just flows nice nice from the left I got the fuck out and sure I could have handled it better I could have not rampaged on Facebook about it but it's funny, there's a lot of indigos out here on you.
YouTube laughing, laughing, going, we're the snitches, we're telling everybody. It's funny, I didn't even snitch to get out of prison time. I mean, I have never been a snitch in my life. Oh, I'm telling, I'm freaking telling. This is bullshit, this is why everybody has to look crazy. And this is why it is such a shame what happened with the front line of the food industry. COVID comes, locks everybody down, and it really looked like restaurants got attacked. And I'm in restaurants, and I'm looking around, and I'm going, why are restaurants being attacked right now so hard? Why are mom and pop shops getting clobbered at McDonald's with their fake freaking plastic food, why are they allowed to be open and why are these big chain restaurants allowed to be open? Well, it looks like they decimated the front lines of restaurants so that they could recruit people into Jeff Bezos' Amazon warehouses and then destroy those mom and pop places and um, recruit for OnlyFans. I've seen so many friggin' servers quit restaurants for Amazon or taking feet pics and I'm just sitting there like, man, this sucks for the rest of us that are stuck staying behind. Um, there are a lot of very spiritual people in restaurants. There are a lot of gifted people trapped just like bait for these old Karens with their rosaries and their this and that just fucking them up messing with their minds literally people want to sit here and look at me like I lost my mind okay maybe I lost my mind because I've been in food service for almost 20 years and I feel abused I feel beat the hell and back. Beat the hell and back. Yeah, that's what they've done. And it's really sad. It's super sad. You see these old religious people with no light in their eyes. They are some cold dead husks of what they used to be. Screaming. Oh. You better not do this. You better not do that. Jesus is going to come back and fuck you up. I mean, it's sad. It's literally so sad. It seems like the more religious people are, the more hateful they are. And I think that's really sad. Because there's a lot of missing context there, guys. A lot of missing shit that people just choose to not understand. <coughs> and, um... It's a shame. And I'm home. Done ranting for now.